Hi, I'm Lee from the iPod Clinic. We are repair specialists for iPods, iPhones and other gadgets. And I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks for your iPods and iPhones. In this video, I'm going to show you some common faults and problems with iPods. Um, they can develop any number of faults, but most of them are usually fixable. So some examples I've got here. Um, this one has a fault with the LCD. It's um, it can be caused through sort of dropping or, or damage, but sometimes this can happen on its own accord and you'll get some lines or, or some coloured pixels on there. Um, it just needs a replacement LCD essentially. This one is stuck at the um, charging screen. There we go, you'll be able to see that uh, it's low power or no power at all. And commonly if you can't get past this stage, it just needs a battery replacement. <coughs> This one has a cracked screen, which is one of the most common repairs, um, and they can be replaced. And this one has uh, a problem with the hard drive, so it starts to click, and um, before it stops working altogether, you might see symptoms such as uh, songs will skip, um, songs will stop playing, um, and just some noise from it generally that you haven't heard before. Now, some other problems that you can get are, you can see a sad face or a red X. This is usually from a, from a hard drive problem. Um, if you get water damage, um, that can sometimes be fixed. Uh, a broken or bent port can be replaced. Uh, it's, uh, quite a lot as well, you'll get um, one-sided uh, sound through the headphones, um, and sometimes you'll, if you wiggle it about, it will, it will skip from side to side. This just means it needs a headphone jack replacement. The home buttons also get stuck. Um, this will come under the same sort of issue as, as a cracked screen, where the, the whole front just gets replaced. Um, the thing to note about uh, water damage is that uh, most, most of the time your iPod will be killed by the water damage not because of the water that's on it but because you've tried to switch it on too soon after it's been water damaged. So the, the recommended course of action really is to make sure that the unit's off as soon as the water has hit it and put it in an airing cupboard for two to three weeks. Make sure that it's fully dry after those two to three weeks and uh, then try and switch it on but preferably you should send it into a specialist where they can open it up, dry it out properly, and then switch it on only once it's safe to do so. So uh, those are common problems with, with iPods. Um, as I say, most of them can, can be fixed by a specialist. <laughs>